Janelle here with Cheap Hill Herbs. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. And in this video, I'm going to share with you a little exercise you can do when you find yourself getting worked up in um, personal situations with other people, when they say things, do things that you um, find aggravating. So let's get started. But please like, subscribe, hit the bell button, comment down below, check out my description. Do you have an email newsletter? And to get on that, you head over to my website, sheephillherbs.com, sign up, and I will also send you my free ebook for signing up. It's all, uh, all you need to know about making herbal tea. Check out my description down below. My three books on Amazon. I have a gluten-free kid children's book with goat characters. I have the very same how to make herbal tea book as a booklet. It's not that long offered on Amazon. And I also have an art journaling activity book all on Amazon. So your support is helpful. It helps this channel grow. Okay, so you're in a conversation and someone is getting emotional. They're upset with something. They're upset with either something you said, something just happened. And we can very easily just get run by our own emotions and go back and forth in this like emotional thing that escalates and gets out of hand. So what I want you to try to get into the habit of doing, or rather I should say what I am <laughs> have been practicing for, um, I would say a good part of the year now is to separate myself from this situation when there is discomfort. Instead of staying there and allowing the escalation to occur, removing myself, usually going outside, excusing myself, and find um, a spot that's peaceful. Maybe you just walk. And what you want to do is put your hand on your heart and you want to breathe. And you can ask yourself, what does love want in this situation? And if you're not used to doing this, you might not hear an answer right away. And it might take some time and practice to see what answers are coming. It does, it does take um, a certain amount of intuition or being able to hear and listen to your body. Most of us are so up in our head. And so distracted and so like in this swirling energy up here that we don't feel what our body wants. So uh, I'm suggesting start, start trying, start practicing and practice with small things. You know, someone brought you coffee you didn't want or someone spilled something on your desk or your child irritated you. And try the breathing activity. Put your hand on your heart. What does love want in this situation? Like I said, remove yourself from this situation for a period of time before you can give a good answer. And if it is more than a few minutes, if you need a whole day to give an answer, that's fine too. I used to feel like when someone asked me to do something or for something, I had to answer immediately. I don't answer anything really immediately anymore. I always ask for time, let me get back to you. And that's a very good habit to get into as well. So with, with that all possibility, try to keep peace, try to let love lead. And this practice will really benefit you in so many ways in your health and your happiness, your well-being. And I hope this uh, makes sense to you. Maybe I should just demonstrate a little bit. So I... Um, I love where I live and it's beautiful and especially on a sunny day. I actually have a hard time doing this when I can't go outside. So I really, um, I have to really try hard to find a, a nice quiet spot in my house because I have a pretty active house. If I can go outside, it is much, okay. it's much easier. And I put my hand on my heart close my eyes and breathe. And you, you might have to breathe for a few minutes till you really calm down. Uh, one way I breathe, and I, I've done a couple videos on this now, is you breathe in, hold, or breathe in to the count of four. Hold for the count of four. Breathe out for the count of four. 
and eventually you can settle yourself pretty quickly without, you know, it might take you 15 minutes if you're really heated. Do this though. It's a really great practice. Hand on the heart, breathing. And if you find that it's not working, you might want to walk around or do some jumping jacks. Just get out of your head in your body. Like move your body first before the breathing. Like just really wriggle and move and I jump on my trampoline and just get into the body before you start breathing. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you get something out of it. Share, come back again, and bye for now.